So I'm Brian Smith, I'm a neonatologist at Duke and um, the principal in investigator on some of the smaller trials that uh, are ongoing in the Pediatric Trials Network. Okay, so why study meropenem? Uh, meropenem is a, a really broad spectrum antimicrobial that uh, is currently uh, labeled uh, for use in children down to 90 days of age. Uh, but uh, neonatologists frequently use meropenem in the neonatal intensive care nursery in, in in term infants that are less than 90 days of age and in preterm infants. It was uh, led uh, by Danny Benjamin uh, and uh, the operations team here at DCRI. The, the meropenem study was a, a, a relatively large uh, multi-center open label uh, pharmacokinetic and safety study. So the, the purpose was to find out the right dose of meropenem uh, in preterm and term infants less than 90 days of age. One of the special uh, uh, emphasis uh, in this study was looking at safety in particular seizures. Imipenem is another broad spectrum antimicrobial that's closely related to meropenem, for which seizure is a known side effect. And so we were uh, uh, sort of extra in, uh, interested in looking uh, to see if seizures uh, were an adverse event that we would see in this trial. And we had special procedures laid out to identify seizures uh, in the babies that got meropenem in this study. One of the hardest things to do when, when studying uh, babies and trying to find out what the right dose of medicine is, is getting samples from the babies uh, to, to test for the drug. In adults, you can get a large number of large volume blood samples uh, when you give an adult a, dr a drug. In babies, you just can't do it. They don't, they don't have the blood volume and, and it's an invasive procedure. And so the study design in the meropenem trial allowed us to get a relatively small number of samples using a really small volume. So the total amount of blood in the study was just about a fifth of a teaspoon. Uh, and, and in many times the, the blood was obtained uh, when the bedside nurse was already getting labs for, for standard of care. And so the baby received very few extra sticks to, to obtain blood. And, and again, the, the amount of blood for the study was relatively small. And, and that was done, there's special ways you can analyze the, the drug levels. Uh, that allow you to look at just a few samples per baby. Uh, and then the, the, the apparatus used to measure the drug levels, it's sensitive enough to, to use really small volumes of blood. And that, you know, 20 years ago, we didn't have that technology to, to do that. The meropenem trial was, was very successful. It was, uh, um, we, we enrolled uh, 200 in, uh, infants. Um, all these infants uh, were uh, critically ill infants. They were in, it was in 24 centers across the U.S. and it was a, a sort of a great collaborative effort here at DCRI and from these centers and, and NIH uh, to, to get the study done. The, the doses that were actually worked out prior to the trial ended up being the correct dose for the baby. So we, we used information that we had at, at hand to take a stab at what we thought was the right dose uh, and, and it ended up being the right dose. And so now it's just a matter of getting that information out to, to the caregivers. The plan for dissemination of the right dose of meropenem uh, is, is, is sort of multi-pronged. So the, the primary aim for the study was to change the label of meropenem. And so there's a, a, a study report that's been submitted to the FDA and they're in the process of reviewing that and we're going to be part of that discussion as to what new things are going to go in the label for meropenem for babies less than 90 days of age, whether it's some dosing information or safety information or both. Um, unfortunately, most physicians actually don't read the FDA label, but they often read uh, uh, manuscripts in the peer-reviewed literature, they read textbooks, they read uh, sort of uh, published resources on dosing. And so we are using our contacts with those people uh, that, that publish those um, um, uh, texts to, to, to put the right dose in, in those texts. And then there's already been a manuscript accepted and, and published that describes the correct dosing of meropenem.